This new red tide map you see right here, you can see medium to high concentrations still off of our Bay Area coast here. But take a look at this new satellite imagery released today showing that red tide bloom is actually moving away from our beaches. The red and yellow showing the highest concentrations there. New at 6 ABC Action News reporter Jake Peterson talking to the experts to see if it will stay away for the Labor Day weekend. Beachcomber property manager Donna Zook is literally breathing a sigh of relief. It's so refreshing. It was just horrible for so long. This is the first time in weeks she could breathe in the beach air without coughing. Oh, it's it's wonderful, but I wish the water was pretty. The water's not pretty yet. Scientists say the red tide is still around, but it's farther from the coast now. So it's still there, um, but we're uh, fortunately getting a reprieve. Moat scientist Dr. Vincent Loveco says the bloom is about 200 yards from most beaches, just far enough away to keep the red tide effects at bay. So with the red tide only being about two football fields away from the beach, there's still a chance the winds could push it back. ABC Action News meteorologist Jason Adams says red tide movement is often unpredictable. All it takes is a shift in the wind and that occurs pretty much every day here in our part of the world. The good news, he says the winds will keep pushing this bloom away from the coast through the weekend. People like Zook will take any relief they can get. But I don't want to tell people come on back because it's clear because it could move right back in. Reporting on Longboat Key, Jake Peterson, ABC Action News.